XRP news and price talk got you covered. What if I told you that PayPal's PYUSD stablecoin is getting involved with a little bit of XRP and Doge action? Along with, yes, one billion unlocked in the market, we understand it, but what's gonna happen with that billion that just got unlocked? And did you catch the shirt in the previous screen? That's right, White Sox, why? Because it's the last game of the season. Glenn chimes in and says, it's not that you're negative. Everything that's happening is negative. You're just bringing the reality of it. I totally agree with you there. I, seriously, it's just this is just a negative market right now. And to show you that I'm not surrounded in an echo chamber of people that just give me praise, I'll show you how humble I really am. Sean Crother says, just shut up about your workouts. The other day I wanted to Ralph when you said you had to do a stretching session. I did. Dude, my hamstrings get super tight. I log lots of miles. I bike a lot. I run a lot of hills. I lift a lot. Yeah, my hammies get tight. Sometimes I ice my hammy. Good for you. Bet I didn't give a shit or want to know. Just saying. Well, thank you, Sean, for sharing your opinion. Bitcoin's in at 27,104E, 1676. Solana still feeling the pump news. Who here is going to dump soon? Solana, my guess. XRP highlighted the show sitting at 51.7. H bar right now sitting at 5 cents with XLM at 11.2. Users can now trade XRP and Doge against PayPal's PYUSD stablecoin. That's actually a good thing, right? That's another ramping mechanism, right? Another way to exchange. Good pairage action right here. But let's take a quick look at that announcement from crypto.com. New XRP Soul and Doge trading pairs now available in the Crypto.com app. Trade them with PYUSD right now. And as always, any article you see in this video, along with my other videos, will be linked in the description below. By the way, baseball starts at 3.07. All games start at 3.07 so that there's no competitive advantage. Pretty cool day, last day in baseball. But I like seeing news like this. But what I don't like seeing is this. The market cap of PYUSD not moving up a lot of People aren't getting into it. In fact, you look at the launch, right? The launch got it up to 41 and a half. Market cap, we're now sitting at 44 and been 44 for a while. So you're not seeing much more movement of people getting in. It's kind of like the people that wanted to get into PYUSD already did. And then there's just them playing in the pool by themselves. Kind of interesting. XRP's explosive surprise. One billion tokens unlocked. Will this send XRP price soaring? Find out. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Seriously? I mean, like, I I hate these BS articles like this because you know what? We all know a billion was getting unlocked. We all know that, yep, it's gonna be happening now for quite some time. We get that there's more in the circulating supply. We get that more is locked up in escrow. It's the same shit, different month. What effect does it have on the price? Eh, nothing really. I mean, we saw a little pre-action here, some pump action here on the proper party, which we knew wasn't going to hold, right, everyone? We talked about that. It wasn't going to hold. If the market knows that a billion is going to get unlocked, guess what? The market's not going to freak out. So when articles like this, like, ooh, explosive surprise, will this send XRP price soaring? Shut the fuck up. Come on with this bullshit. Economic conditions need to improve. What do you see about that that says this article has any inkling of truth to it? Like none whatsoever. But it is good news though that crypto.com is doing a little PYUSD with Solana Doge and XRP. You know, and obviously as you can tell, the hair joke still stands. Comment down below if you know what the hair joke is in regards to crypto. So that's the deal. The news has been kind of boring. Proper party was exactly just that, a party. But like no news around it. You've seen really no new developmental news that's helped out crypto whatsoever. The government just got in a 45 day extension to stop the whole shutdown, which pushes that looming cloud out there. You've also got no regs. You've also got other banks and stuff around the globe. I did a story on it. In England telling you, no, you can't spend your crypto like with us. It's just, no, no, we're not going to allow you. We're going to ban it. Go somewhere else. End of story. So there's very interesting times here. Some of the not so exciting times, I'll be honest with you. 
But we all knew that September was going to be a blah. Let's just hope, though, October picks up because October has October baseball, of which the White Sox will not be participating. In October, I put a hell of a lot of miles on the road and on the road bike. That make you Ralph? So what am I doing today? Recovery drink, why? Because I ran already today. You cool cats, though, enjoy the last day of baseball, regular season.